I was trying to do a larger project around reimagining the golden record, content on the golden record for uh, in VR. So it was like all the images and music and sounds that were sent on these Voyager probes that were heading into interstellar space. And I felt that if that content was meant to tell the aliens about what it was like to be on Earth, then surely we're aliens on our own planet and VR was a way that we could reconnect with each other through this stuff. And I was talking to the Philharmonia Orchestra in London uh, already, and I had slid them this huge list of classical music. I'm like, well, pick one, and we'll, maybe that will be how we work together. Um, that was on the record, and they, were, they immediately called me back and said, actually, we have a recording on the record. And it was Beethoven's Fifth. And I'm just like, oh, no, because Beethoven's Fifth is like candy for classical music. It's like the earworm thing. It's like you learn, everyone learns it in school. It's the one thing that everyone has made like VR about. It's like, okay, well, here we go. Like, I can't not do it, but I have to think of a different way of, of approaching it. So I talked to Esapekka Salonen, who's the conductor of, of the Philharmonia Orchestra in London, and said, you know, what do I do with Beethoven? And he's like, well, I mean, he was a complicated man. He was not happy. Um, and a lot of it had to do with the fact that he was going deaf. So it became more about Beethoven and his disability, which then became a lot more about just the act of hearing. And I thought that was really on point with what the Golden Record, again, was trying to do, which was it talks about human perception. It, it leverages human perception, but rethinks it. So it includes um, the sounds of interstellar space and what we call tasteful tinnitus. Kind of like if you're too close to a speaker, that sound of just a little bit of a ringing. I use audio to transport you to space. So the idea of going from a spatial mix to a mono mix and then back to spatial has been something I'm really excited about. So one of the really cool things that we do with the install is we've worked with Subpack. I plugged in a Subpack just to the mix, just didn't do anything special to it, plugged it in. And it was like hearing some voice from another dimension. It was almost like there was this undercurrent of something that I hadn't even thought about or, or plugged into and suddenly we had tapped directly into it. Well, it kind of plays to three levels of a collective, right? Like you have the golden record, which is this collective, this, this effort of a collective, you know, human species. Yeah, yeah. It's the collective of the orchestra, and mm -hmm. then it's the collective of, of your experience. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that's the replayability aspect, right? Um, for lack of, a, I guess, like rewatchability. I think it's, um, I mean, I've, I, I watch it, and it's new every time, right? It's kind of cool that you can can see all the various layers. And I like those sorts of experiences that aren't so black and white, that kind of play that line a bit more. Um, I think more in three-dimensional cipher type things than I do um, as like a straightforward thing.